So I'm going to share about financial inclusion to you and the path transforming of the food systems. But first we are going to really understand what a food system is and focus on what it is for each of us at our different households. Each of us eats every single day. So we have some sort of involvement in the food system. And it starts from the farmer to the person distributing the food to us who are eating the food. On my side as a healthcare provider, it doesn't stop at just providing the food, but actually how much you get from it in terms of nutrients. You start with knowing how you are already participating by being a consumer, and then you start to see what are the different needs of fellow consumers like yourself. For example, if you like to eat fruits, you wonder who is growing these fruits. Do you think there is a demand for fruits? So you can start on ideas of fruit farming, for example, or you may like to eat fish, for example, and you know that with the different uh, changes in climate, maybe we will not be able to fish all our fish from the lake. Uh, we may have to have some fish coming up from the pond, so maybe you put that fish farming. And then also, you also acknowledge that yes, when I go to the market as a consumer, all of us have visited markets before and we realize there is some food wastage. So that could be an opportunity for you to see a gap and fill that gap. Uh, you go to the market, there is so much matoke in season and some of it is being wasted. There is so much of it lying around, uh, broken or rotten because it has not been able to be sold in time. You may not even be a professional, for example, in food processing to be able to add value to this. But you can actually uh, create opportunities maybe to distribute this matoke or these fruits to the different users so there are opportunities in distribution there are opportunities in preservation of this food and one of the key problems we have is indeed food wastage from our food chains and the other problem that is there in our food systems from the agricultural standpoint at the point of growing the food is the inputs do these farmers have inputs Yes, maybe it's a question of finances, but maybe they don't even know the right inputs. So you as a youth, maybe you have knowledge about the actual inputs they should use. You could provide the right species. We all know there's a difference between some bogoya, the taste of some bananas and the other. Who is providing the farmers with the bogoya species that is preferred for the consumer? So there are so many opportunities, and especially because we are known to be an economy that thrives on agriculture. So how do we start um we can start again by identifying the ideas you can use your own savings to implement those ideas but then even before you start to put in the money you have to remember that it's not about the big investment but it's about who you're impacting like i said we are all consumers meaning at the end of the day any business idea around food systems should really focus on making sure that there's someone you're impacting because that's the only way people will be willing to pull out money and pay you for it. We have seen um, a growth in food distribution services, Safe Border, Global. They are doing this because the customer wants conveniency. We have seen people, the growth in herbal food products, because that is also in the food systems, health products. Because people are yearning for vitamins, so people are making health food products rich in vitamins. Um, then also, there are some perishable products, so you would have to also think about the whole business cycle before you the product gets to your customer. What what does it go through? Is it a perishable? Do I need a, a, a cold chain system? Can I? What are the different investments that you need to put into place to actually have a product going to the market? So the other aspect is that research is key. Research doesn't mean that you have to go to school and conduct big studies uh, but even the small research as simple as getting off your thinking desk because you could be very brilliant and thinking about amazing ideas but before you go out to the world and find out what the consumer actually thinks about your idea you're thinking for yourself and yet you're not the one going to consume all the amazing 
ideas that you're thinking about in line with food systems that is from, um, from the farm to the to the table of the consumer so you have to get off your table and get out to the world if Arthur is your target customer you go to him you ask him would you buy this product would you not so that you actually know the real value that people are looking out for then also never go mass scale before doing trials unless you have seen it succeed elsewhere so we have different ways we can innovate or create in food systems we can for example see from another country and say oh in another country people are consuming a lot of health food products let me also make a health food drink then i come here and you know do a lot of health food drink or natural fruit juices but then in case you have not seen it work elsewhere and you have an innovative idea something new something novel then you have to first create it and have a few people test it and appreciate it if it's a product if it's a service a few people at a time taking up your solution and appreciating it will help you relearn and learn and most of the even outside uh, food systems most of the innovations are always not been the best at their first point but have kept growing and growing so you have to have a plan and the best plan is always to aim at retaining your customer like i say it's about the impact you're making to that final user because even you are a final user for any of our food product so meaning you also desire good product so you have to make an impact on that customer and you have to retain them and as you since we're also talking about financial inclusion it's common that we don't have big capital but at least we can have a big social capital where people are referring and trusting us because with just a little amount of money you can make your first product and impress your first five or one customers and then those will be your marketing agents to other customers and you have and follow a plan for your inventory inputs and outputs so that you always have records because if you have records you will see if your business is viable your food systems business or it's not viable because you may have a shop where you're stocking bills and you have no profits but you do not know but when you have records you will always be able to draw the line and see how much profit you're making or if you're not making profits and if possible ensure your business and assets that you acquire so that you have the best possible specialization when i was starting my nutrition business i used to look out for anyone who wants to listen to me but now I look out for that person who is ready to listen and take action because there is a difference between those two clients even when they all want the same thing for example if I have someone who wants uh, to manage their sugar levels they both want to manage their sugar levels but there is that person who wants to do it right now and is not willing to listen to the fact that it's going to take them one month if I force myself for that client I may not be able to impress them because they're looking for a quick fix it's it's easier for me to say that you see for me i specialize in long-term healthcare solutions i'm not going to give you a quick fix kindly allow me to do for you a long-term plan because that's what i have to offer and then the person will decide whether they want to take on your long-term success or not so specialization is very key but not only in the type of clients you're getting in terms of your niche but also helping you to run your business like i was introduced i have got experience um, witnessing the running and also participating in the running of a family business where we process products but if we had decided to process every other food products we make millet flour we make maize flour we do every other thing it would be hard for us to identify the target customer so but by specializing in health nutrition rich products we have been helped to make sure that we are able to identify with a particular group of people who are seeking for help. So even you in your small business, in your farm business, you can identify, you can you can identify a niche. You can say for me, I'm going to have a shop where I sell mainly sources, or I'm going to have a shop where I, I or a distribution plant where I stock items for um, for hotels. So you you have a business to business model where you're looking out for mainly the hotels we have expert opinion as well and since i'm here to share with you it's always good to share from experiences when you when you think of a business idea it's very common that you think 
the experts are usually also the people you look out to or they are the people who have some of your potential clients so there are two ways to look at it you can look at the experts as role models or you can look at them as as competitors but I prefer that every youth looks at the experts or the industry giants as role models. If you have an opportunity to interact with industry giants in your sector for guidance, because there are things that they have done in their business, in their 10 years, in their 5 years of business, that you have not yet explored. Maybe these are ideas that you want to implement, but they have tried them before and they know whether it works for this economy or it doesn't. Then also never listen to public opinion unless you're sure that the person who's giving you the opinion is really it's credible, like the experts we are talking about. Um, and listen to public opinions if it's your customer feedback, but in terms of opinion that does not necessarily inform your business or downsizes the idea without necessarily critically thinking about it, it's good to just give it a deaf ear. Or you can choose to always listen and pick out what you want. Then keep networking with fellow entrepreneurs. As I said, people have experienced what you're experiencing and they'll be able to guide. Do not keep away from them because they're in a similar field thinking they're competitors. As a matter of fact, you may be surprised that a business does a similar business with you but does not have a particular service and you feel that girl. For example, in my practice, most hospitals do not have nutritionists. But it's important to complement the food systems by teaching people how to eat. So partnering with a clinic has helped us to reach more people. And as I share this, um, in any youth out there can read a book uh, called Charisma Me. I think that book is amazing because it gives you an understanding of outside your expert knowledge, outside interactions with people. The actual interaction with your customer is a conversation. And one of the things it talks about is you have to be present. Whenever you're present, when you're having a conversation, it's, it's common that people will understand you more than when you're not present. And then also, um, being present in your actual business also plays a key role because when you're present you will see all the business operations when you're present you will pay attention to that customer okay and there's something about employing fellow family members in case you're working in a family business if it's work it's work you should delegate and it's work hours if it's family time it's family time so that you do not kill your business and youth out there in case you have a fellow youth who is doing a food systems business like i said all of us eat food every day so each of us are part of this food chain and we benefit from it support that youth business do not support them by asking them for free samples always but by actually paying for those products i'm going to share some tips golden tips um, or is add value to your products. I have been giving an example of what the food system is and you have noticed that at every stage of the food system, starting from the farm, there is a chance for you to add value. Uh, have online presence for your orders and contact information. Um, we have WhatsApp status, sometimes that's the first stage for online presence. You have so many contacts, if these people are all seeing your product, one day they will tell someone about your product or one day they will need it. And for food we are lucky, everyone eats every day. Each of us is a consumer. But your customers, we have talked about this, because the referrals actually grow the small businesses. Small businesses like Krona Beverages may not have money to market, but because of the many referrals, have a passion, love what you do, and always pick out the item that you love. Food systems is broad, there is distribution, there is packaging, there is also warehousing. You may not be having a passion for actually interacting with so many people, customers, but you may offer warehousing services for the business owners who do not have where to store their food. Then have multiple payment options, for example, bank accounts. These days we have banks integrated with our mobile money. We have banks payments at the different hospitals, we even have them being uh, used at the supermarket. So there are so many needs for you to actually have your money at a bank or uh, you know in a mobile uh, form and also to ease the customer's uh, 
uh, payment options. Set a vision for yourself and your business. This is very, very important because the vision is yours and then there's also a vision for your business. So your vision should really help you suit the role of you being the managing director or the farmer or the, biz the shopkeeper. It should suit and continue learning and developing. What I learned in school as a dietetic student, I have added on skills, for example, speaking, uh, relationships with people. I managed to learn a skill of desi designing my own website. So there's so much I've added on to put it together to make me a very good person in food systems. And we can keep learning because there's so many platforms online where you can learn and amazing webinars like this where we are learning skills and have a succession plan for your food systems uh, engagement because at the end of the day, yes, we are youth, but it would be nice for us to build businesses that last. Yes, um, I'll stop there. <laughs>